Yo, when I tell you our son is growing fast, I mean it. So, Dakota's is sprouting up. The other day we went to the doctor, he had his nine month checkup, and he's taller than most kids his average age. His average height is taller. I think he was in the like 96 percentile for height. So one of the things that I want to be really wise about and our family just wants to be wise about is how do we spend our money and how do we move forward in a way that isn't over spending or living outside of our means and so we want to get things that don't just depreciate really quick and we'll take the upfront investment if it means we can have it for longer. And so with Dakota's growing a lot more, we got a high chair that would grow with him. And so we should be able to have this until I do not know when. But this is the first time we're really readjusting it now that Dakota says, now that Dakota's has grown more and I wanna show you the process. This is the first time that I've really given it a deep clean. You standing up? You crawling? Okay, listen up. Now, one of the most important things is how things look, but not how they look in the moment, but how they look over time. We've had our trip trap chair for like eight months, and he's been using it extensively. I say that word extensively for four months. We've had no problem. The tray just comes off as soon as you push this little bottom button. It literally pops right off. Seamless, easy, quick cleaning. Now, this first part of cleaning is what I do every time he gets done. I just take my favorite cleaning spray and wipe it down. If I don't have that, I go to my dad's station, that's what I call it, and I use some baby wipes. Those literally work the exact same. They're really good, and every time I clean it, it looks amazing. Like, everything just comes off really good. I was a little worried about like the paint fading, but no problems. Now cleaning the tray top, we're gonna to talk a little more about that later, but I want y'all to know I have never put it in the dishwasher. I do it by hand. This thing is the strap that holds the coat of sand and it gets so gross and it's not something that you can just take right off and clean right away. So that's why I've never cleaned it until, well, right now. And taking that off is really easy. So there's just a button right underneath here. But before we get to that, my son woke up, so uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to move the tray top down. And you can see that right now, he's too tall for it. You done? You done with it? You over it? Cool. So I gave him some red cherries, had to wash that off and it comes off super easy. So I'm impressed with how easy that cleans. Now this is the piece that holds the coat of sand. You just push that button up, it comes up. And this is the part that I have not cleaned and I needed to clean. And this is the part that I could not get off. So I really wanted to throw this thing in the washing machine, but just know you cannot get that piece off to throw it in the washing machine. So washing machine, not possible. And if you are able to do it, please tag me in the video in the comments. So instead, I just put it underneath really hot water for probably like 20 seconds. And it seems like it got everything off. To me, it looks like brand new. Like, I like it. So I'm going to give that a plus because it's easy to clean without having to put it in the washing machine. And then there's no buttons that you will mess up by putting underneath the water. Now with the trip trap, you always want to get into like those cracks and crevices. Every time I've tried to do it, it's been super easy. And this is the first time I've really tried to get that crack. Okay. Now this is a really important area to note. This is the back seat for Dakota's. And I believe these straps, were not on when I got the chair. So I was trying to take them off so I could easily just toss them in the washing machine and see if they'll be fine and see if that's faster. But they literally just would not come off. And if they do come off, I mean, it's gonna take way too long. It's gonna take too much of my time to try to get it off. So 
I just put it right back underneath the hot water to try to get everything off of the strap. There were like some jelly on there that I wasn't sure was gonna come out. So I put it underneath there and it honestly all came out. The only other thing that I was nervous about after doing this was how long would it take to dry off? Like the back plastic is easy, obviously. I was concerned about the straps. I didn't know if I was gonna just have to like let them set for a few hours or what. So more on that later and how it came out. This is the money part. Right, how do you adjust the chair? You have those bolts on the chair. You'll just uh, take an Allen wrench and loosen these up. It is kind of a process. However, you don't have to do it that often. I would recommend getting your little one and making sure they fit in the new configuration before you tighten it. Is that better? Also, I want to talk about this part. One, you got to make sure you put it in the correct slot correlating, right? Like it's easy to miss put those in there. And the other thing that I don't like about the trip trap chair is that you can't ever tell when it's even or not. So it's kind of like a lot of trial and error, but it's okay. Now look closely, you can see in this crack, this is like buildup of like food and you can't get that out by just like wiping across it. So I had to loosen it up and then dig in there and it all just scraped out really easy. Yeah, don't think the video was recording when I was tightening this back down, but I just make sure that this isn't gonna go anywhere. And I don't know, it's pretty simple, easy. All right, good news. So I checked the straps probably after 30 minutes and they were pretty dry. And I think it's because they're not fluffy. Like there's not a lot of water that will just hold in there. I even twisted it to see if water would come out. And this is after like 30 minutes of it just sitting there. So that was a big plus. You can rest easy that you can just wash them and they'll be fine without actually put them in the dryer. This process is also really simple to put back on and I just hadn't done it in a while so I was kind of confused but uh, a couple clicks and it's good. This thing, I'll tell you what, the high chair top, I don't know about other brands or other companies but I'm impressed with how white it has stayed. So where am I at? Is the trip trap chair, high chair, sorry, is the trip trap high chair worth it? And in my opinion, it definitely is. I think the quality will hold for years to come and we won't have to rebuy this as the CODIS continues to grow. And it cleans so easy. So everything for me has been a win, win, win. And I'm excited to see what it looks like in 10 years, but I think it will hold up in value. If you are thinking about getting one, I will try to leave a link down in the description. I will try to leave a link down in the description. If you do get one, it will be an affiliate, so that will help the channel. And if you would like to help the channel in any other way, you can definitely hit the thanks button down low. And that just is a way to support us and help me continue to create videos. I know this is different than some of my typical videos. Um, but needed to be made and everything helps the channel. So if you found value, hit the like button and I will see you in the next one.